Hello everyone. Today's topic is electricity interconnectors, covering specifically to UK interconnector. This presentation covers definition of an electricity interconnector, why we need interconnectors, interconnector structure, typical layout for UK Belgium interconnector, and UK existing and future proposed interconnectors. So let's have a look. So what is an electricity interconnector? Electricity interconnector are the physical links which allow the transfer of electricity across borders. Or we can also say an electricity interconnector is a connection between electricity transmission systems of different countries, helping to ensure a safe, secure and affordable energy transfer. As you can see, the picture covers interconnector between UK and various UK country, European countries. Why we need interconnectors? Interconnectors are required because of following four major points. I will give you a quick brief on each section and later some fun facts. Energy security. Interconnectors strengthen security of energy supplies. They provide reliable and flexible access to electricity, which dynamic and growing economies need. Importantly, they give system operators the critical tools they need to balance the rapid changes in supply and demand. Sustainability. The government has set ambitious goals decarbonizing the energy sector using the carbon price floor to turn GB, Great Britain, into a global leader in the fight against climate change. However, the challenge remains that the renewable sources are difficult to forecast and control. Competitive prices. Greater opportunities for both the countries to trade the power in energy market. Consumer benefit from interconnector because they open the door to cheaper energy sources and help a country to build smart energy systems. Supporting renewables to meet international and domestic renewable and climate change targets, a nation can generate more power from renewable sources, including offshore wind. By its nature, wind generation is intermittent and interconnectors provide an effective way to manage these fluctuations in supply and demand. Here we come to the fun facts. By linking national energy systems, interconnectors help to smooth hourly variation in production from wind and solar farms. Time and cultural differences between countries, where for example, the average dinner time is later in Britain, also ensures that the peak time do not completely overlap. Norwegian hydropower can fill the gap when the sun is not shining and there's a little or no wind in the UK. While on very sunny and windy day in Britain, excess power production can be stored in Norwegian Lake using the hydro storage. Another fun fact is Moyle, an interconnector between UK and Ireland, has been operating at around half of its normal, which is 500 megawatt capacity, due to a subsea cable fault since 2012. Our next slide is interconnector structure. This shows a typical structure of an interconnector between two countries. As you can see on the screen, interconnector has uh, a very high, high voltage cable between the two countries. In this case, it's the subsea cable. On either side of the country, there is a converter station, which is also called a DC station, an AC substation, which could be AIS, GIS, or a hybrid, and a subsea cable underground, which is going below the sea belt. The slide shows a UK Belgium one gigawatt interconnector UK side. As you can see on the left hand side in here, it's a converter station, which we can call a DC station, which is connected with the AIS compound, which has few transformers, a GIS substation, uh, SVC, which is ultimately connected to uh, a subsea cable, which is going towards Belgium. This slide shows the current and the future of Great Britain interconnectors. The UK is expanding its interconnection options to increase the benefit to consumers. The purple, the purple color shows the existing interconnectors between UK, Northern Ireland, UK, Ireland, UK, Netherlands, and UK, France. There are four interconnectors planned in the next five years, which is Nemo, Electlink, IFA2, and NSL. And there are few more plan, few more are plans in the next uh, couple of years. So as you can see, these interconnectors connectors are connecting between the different countries with UK, where we transfer the electricity when we need, and is the future for energy. Thank you.